Hi everyone! Welcome to Victory Sharjah Kids Church Online. I am Teacher Rachel and we are here to honor God and make disciples. We are now on the fourth week of our series entitled, As Told by Jesus. I know you are all excited with your new lesson, the piracy and the tax collector. But before that, let us all stand up and worship God with all our hearts. Hi everyone! Welcome to Victory Sharjah Kids Church Online. I am Teacher Rachel and we are here to honor God and make disciples. We are now on the fourth week of our series entitled, As Told by Jesus. I know you are all excited with your new lesson, the piracy and the tax collector. But before that, let us all stand up and worship God with all our hearts.
Hello kids! Welcome to Kids Church Online. I am Teacher Veronica and I am glad that you are here today. I know you're excited to hear a new story from our series as told by Jesus. So kids, are you ready to hear and listen to the new parable from Jesus' teachings? Great! But before that, take out your Bible for our power verse and open it to James chapter 1 verse 22. Let's read all together. Do what God's teaching says. Do not just listen and do nothing. Let us bow down our head and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings and favors you have given to us. We humbly come before you and asking for forgiveness for all our sins. Help us by your grace to live according to your will each day. And the words that we hear today will remain in our hearts. All these things we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Kids, let's have some fun game. I have a toy here, a bigger toy and a smaller toy. Which one do you like most? A bigger toy or a smaller toy? What about this book? Which one do you like most? An old small book? Or a new big book. Here's one last. What about this shirt? Do you like this shirt? Or this nice new shirt? That was fun, right? We rated the pictures which ones are better than the others. That is much like our Bible story today where one man thought he was better than the other people. We are now in the last week in our series entitled, As Told by Jesus. I hope you have learned a few things from the parables we have been learning from the past three weeks. Can you still remember the stories? Great! Excellent! During the first week, we learned about the unmerciful servant. And in the second week, we learn about the rich fool. Just last week, we learn about the prodigal son. And today, we will be learning about the Pharisee and the tax collector. Humility 
Is that our topic for today? Oh, yes. Oh, no, it's hard to be humble. Uh huh. It's time for another story as told by Jesus. In the crowd Jesus was teaching, there stood a few men who thought too good about themselves, and they looked down on everybody else. I hate to admit, but sometimes I feel like that too. Thank you for your honesty. Sometimes I do too. I think everybody feels like that sometimes, but still, it doesn't make it right. I guess this parable is for us then. That's correct. This parable's main characters are the Pharisee and the tax collector. Back in the time of Jesus, the Pharisees were the goody two-shoes who followed all the rules up to the very last one. The tax collectors, on the other hand, were the exact opposite. They were the worst of the worst. They were Jews who stole money from other Jews in the form of taxes. That's not a very good thing to do. That's true. One day, they find themselves in the temple to pray. Dear God, thank you that I'm not like the other people. I don't kill, cheat, or steal. Unlike the other people. He was practically saying, Oh God, I'm so good! It's like he was talking about the tax collector. Exactly. On the other side of the temple, the tax collector got down on his knees and started to pray. He was so full of guilt because he knew he did wrong. He couldn't even look up to heaven. He begged God, Lord, please forgive me. I've sinned so many times my fingers couldn't even count them. Then Jesus said to the crowd, when the two men went home, it was the tax collector and not the Pharisee who was pleasing the God. It's the exact opposite. Yes. Jesus even said, If you put yourself above others, you will be put down. But if you humble yourself, you will be honored. Whoa. I guess the Pharisee didn't have to compare himself to the tax collector when he was praying. He could have just praised God and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. Yes, and we each have our own sin to confess anyway. Just because you think other sins are worse than yours, sin will always be sin. It kind of puts things into perspective. It's very humbling. If you think about it that way, right? That's the beauty of it. When we know that we failed our Lord God, we will approach Him with our heads bowed down and our hands to our hearts, just like the tax collector. Most people would think that the Pharisee said the best prayer. But Jesus said, it was the tax collector who was right with God. He was humble, meaning he did not think that he was so good and so much better than the others. He knew that he was a sinner and he came to God and asked him for forgiveness. The Pharisee was so proud of himself and thinking that he was so perfect and he looked down on others. His heart was filled with pride and God had no place in it. Let us learn to be humble because we can't do anything without God. We do our best to obey God. But don't let it become a source of pride. We are still sinners who need God's grace every day. Jesus is our best example of humility. He is God. He had every good thing in heaven. Yet, He came to earth to live as an ordinary man and gave Himself up to die on the cross so our sins can be forgiven. It's arts and craft time! Please prepare for our materials. A yellow cardboard, a black cardboard, a scissor, a glue, and a puncher. Cut out a big one circle and please ask assistance from your mom or dad or any adult beside you. Do not use it by your own. Do not use the scissor by your own, please. And then cut out another three circles. Okay, and then you have to make strips from the black cardboard like this. You will do like this. And also a three 
little circles for our eyes. Circle will serve as the bee's body. And the other one circle, small, smaller circle, will serve as the bee's head. And the two smaller circles will serve as the bee's wings. And these three small circles will serve as the bee's eye eyes and mouth and the strips you have to put them like this and the two strips will serve as their antennae you can glue them together and you can make now a bee a humble bee. You can make two holes here big enough to insert your two fingers. Ta -da! Here is our bee. Do you know what special bee you just made? It is the humble bee. It is humble because as you insert your four fingers in the holes, they will serve as the legs of the bee and you can make it kneel or bow. Kneeling or bowing is a gesture of humility. Let your humble bee remind you that we need to always be humble before God. Just like the tax collector, he humbled himself before God and asked for forgiveness for all his sins. Because without God, we can do nothing. The summary of our story, sometimes or maybe most of the time, it is easy for us to see how different we are from others. Actually, the tendency is we don't just look at the difference. We tend to see ourselves better than the others. Today, we are reminded that God knows what is inside our heart. Therefore, always remember, be humble before God and for other people. Let us pray the closing prayer. Let us all bow down our heads. Dear Lord, thank you for showing us what is being humble truly means. Please teach us to follow your example. Do not think about ourselves all the time. Forgive us for all those times we have thought we were better than others. Thank you because you love us. In Jesus' name, amen.